Welcome back guys, we are talking about different type of uh, gene mutation in human body and in this video we are going to talk about the BRAF mutation. You know this KRAS mutation, BRAF mutation, all these type of mutations they ultimately leads to the overgrowth of cell and leads to cancer. That's why we are studying all these pathways and we want to learn all these pathways. And hi, I highly encourage you to remember and actually go uh, to see this MAP kinase pathway because this is the actual pathway what we are going to talk about uh, but in very very briefly because uh, if you understand map kinase pathway you probably know the position of BRAF in that pathway and that is very important to understand the whole pathway thing to understand the mutation and what it will cause to BRAF okay so if you want to understand about map k pathway there is the link I am giving you in this description probably uh, pop out here. So click here in this annotation it will redirect you to the map kinase pathway. You can watch it and then come back to view this. If you don't want to do that still I won't, uh, I, I won't discourage you I will try to make you understand what it is all about. So stay tuned. Uh, BRAF mutation, uh, for understanding BRAF mutation you need to know what is BRAF. You know BRAF is a gene as usual and that produces a protein called BRAF. Now this protein or BRAF protein uh, that we are going to talk about, it is a signal transduction, signal transduction pro protein inside cell and this is related with the signal transduction of cell division and growth. It is related with cell division and growth. Okay. So, it is a signal transduction molecule related with cell division and growth and the whole pathway of cell division and growth uh, is the MAP kinase pathway that it is uh, related with MAP ARC pathway. So, the thing is for the basic understanding I should uh, draw a cell here inside. So, this is a cell, cell membrane and for any signaling pathway there are majorly three stages. One is the reception of the signal and signaling molecule from the outside. The second is the relaying that signal from outside the cell in, into the inside cytoplasm of the cell that is the second part. Third thing is the amplification of the signal and ultimately reach it to the core of the cell that is the nucleus because inside the nucleus there are genes which we need to transcribe and then translate into proteins so that the ultimate goal for all the signal pathway is fulfilled. Now in this case the goal for the signal pathway is to ultimately grow this cell and divide this cell. Okay. So, for that reason what we have, we have a receptor outside. Let us say the receptor here, this is the receptor. This is a signal receptor and there are other molecules that will relay that signal and the molecule here is say RAS. We have already talked about RAS mutation where we already done this, draw this image and we talk about everything. So, you can also view that. So, here this receptor is called as epidermal growth factor receptor EGFR and the growth factor that will tell the cell to grow and divide is the epidermal growth factor or EGF. Right? So, there are different varieties of growth factors out there. As the name suggests, growth factor means it will tell the cell to grow and divide right so here it is telling the cell to grow and divide but how let's say this is efg it is now attached with this epidermal growth factor receptor and then this ras will go and attach to the egfr and then finally ras will activate other proteins and here comes the first type of protein which is going to interact with ras ras is a gtps molecule which will activate first kind of proteins and then that thing will activate other kinases inside so here comes the important role of our protein that is the RAF, BRAF. So, here it is the BRAF. This is the BRAF protein. Now, BRAF protein will interact with RAS. RAS will activate BRAF. Once the BRAF is activated, the BRAF will further activate, you know, make other proteins like make, which is K means kinase. Make will activate ARC right so and finally it will go inside the nucleus it will produce certain you know inside the nucleus it will activate certain transcription factors now these transcription factors are extremely important 
in eukaryotic transcription because this is the transcription factor which will recognize the perfect promoter for the gene to be transcribed and then the gene will be translated that mrna will be translated and they will produce proteins and then the cell will divide and grow now what happens here if there is any problem with braf for example so the function of braf is to activate further kinases make arc on whatever different types of kinases and finally produce a transcription factor which will uh, sit on to the you know say the dna here turn to the dna it will translate i mean transcribe the mrna let's say this is the mrna and the mrna will be translated into proteins and finally that protein uh, will tell the cell to grow and divide by the cell cycle now if there is by any means due to any kind of mutation in this braf gene this braf gene it produces a protein which is malfunctioning braf not actually malfunction it is super active braf now there is a process for the cell to control the cell division and growth because cell wants the cell to grow and divide up to a particular time then it should stop right so there is a rule to govern that and the, for that each and every protein is having certain rules so braf will activate up, uh, um, until a certain amount then it will uh, you know fall then it will stop the cell division but if after this any type of mutation in braf this braf becomes hyperactive it is becoming hyperactive so as the braf is becoming hyperactive now the braf will start act activating more and more make arc and all this kinases inside the cell which is going to produce more transcription factors and they are going to produce more and more proteins for the cell division and growth and the cell will start dividing rapidly and it ultimately turns the cell into a tumorous you know malignant cell and finally it will cause cancer so this is the whole system of braf and this is a pathway called map kinase pathway right so any type of mutation in braf or if any mutation in ras we have already seen the mutation in kras there so problems with these molecules will ultimately generate certain faulty proteins certain most amount of proteins which are responsible for the cell divide and cell division and finally it will turn, turn it into a cancer cell so this is how the whole braf mutation works now the question is what kind of mutation we are going to see in braf now in all this type of growth signaling receptor related problems there are always problems related point mutation single base mutation similarly in this case of braf also we have seen point mutation point mutation means from a so from t to a that is from thymine to adenine that happens most of the time that was actually found in certain experimentation that in braf there is a point mutation there is a point mutation and that mutation suggests from thymine to adenine this is the mutation and due to this single base pair shift change it produces faulty braf that that can ultimately lead to cancer okay and for, for as we know this whole pathway and how braf is related with cancer there are medicines nowadays in the market to fight against this braf related problems associated with the cancer pathway and those examples are femuravenib dorafenib for example so femurafenib or let's say sorafenib let me write it so the medicines that we have the medications for cancer regarding this braf mutation we have here is called as femura fenib these are the name sora fenib dabra fenib and so on these are the different type of uh, medications nowadays available as uh, i am talking about this process i also say this these are the medications nowadays available to treat this kind of situation so that's kind of it about the braf mutation but remember this growth problem in this whole all type of this growth receptor kind of problems always can be as a, i mean related with cancer right so that's kind of it guys if you like the video don't forget to subscribe and there is my link you know i'm giving here the channel i mean the playlist of many mutation videos like this many many different varieties of mutation you can find just click this link you will get the playlist and watch them if you like them subscribe and uh, if you have any comments please do that thank you